Section 1 of The Baby's Opera. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Miss Carol. Carol Stripling. The Baby's Opera by Walter Crane. Section 1. Girls and Boys. of section 1 section 2 of the baby's opera this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by miss carol carol stripling the baby's opera by walter crane section 2 the mulberry bush Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush all on a frosty morning. This is the way we clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands all on a frosty morning. End of section two. Section 3 of The Baby's Opera. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Opera by Walter Crane. Section 3 Oranges and Lemons. Oranges and lemons, Isabel's of St. Clemens. You owe me five. Isabel's of St. Martin's. When will you pay me, says the bells of Old Bailey. When I grow rich, says the bells of Shoreditch. When will that be, says the bells of Stepney. I do not know, says a great bell of a candle to light you to bed, and here comes a chopper to chop off your head. End of section three. Section four of the Baby's Opera. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Opera by Walter Crane. Section 4, St. Paul's Steeple. Upon Paul's steeple stands a tree as full of apples as may be. The little boys of London town, they run with hooks to pull them down. And then they run from hedge to hedge until they come to London Bridge. End of section four. Section five of the Baby's Opera. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Opera by Walter Crane. Section five, My Lady's Garden. How does my lady's garden grow? How does my lady's garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. End of section five. Section twelve of the Baby's Opera. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Opera by Walter Crane. Section 12, Dickory Dock. 
Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. End of section 12. Section 22 of The Baby's Opera. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Opera by Walter Crane. Section 22. Ba Ba Black Sheep. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, Mary, have I three bags full? One for my master and one for my dame, but none for the little boy that lives down the lane. End of section 22. Section 1 of The Baby's Bouquet. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Bouquet by Walter Crane. Section 1. Dedication and Polly Put the Kettle On. To the friends of babies and of babies' opera in England, America, and elsewhere. End of section 1. Section 2 of The Baby's Bouquet. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Bouquet by Walter Crane. Section 2. Hot Cross Buns. Section 2. Section 3 of The Baby's Bouquet. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Bouquet by Walter Crane. Section 3. The Little Woman and the Peddler. There was a little woman, as I've heard say, Fuddle, diddle, diddle, dull. She went to market her rakes for to sell, Fuddle, diddle, diddle, dull. She went to market all on a market day, And she fell asleep upon the king's highway. Fuddy, rally, lull, lull, lull. Peddler whose name was Stout, Fun-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-
began to shake and she began to cry. Oh, God, mercy on me, this is none of I. If it be I as I suppose it be, I've a little dog at home and he knows me. If it be I, he will wag his little tail, and if it be not I, he will bark and rail. And when the little woman went home in the dark, her little dog, he did begin to bark. began to bark and she began to cry. Lock up mercy on me, this is none of I. Body rally la 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 Section 4 of The Baby's Bouquet. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Bouquet by Walter Crane. Section 4. The Little Disaster. Once there lived a little man where a little river ran, and he had a little farm and little dairy, oh. And he had a little plough and a little dappled cow, which he often called his pretty little fairy, oh. And his dog he called Fidel, for he loved his master well, and he had a little pony for his pleasure, oh. In a sty not very big, he'd a frisky little pig, which he often called his little piggy treasure, oh. Once his little maiden Anne, with her pretty little can, went a-milking when the morning sun was beaming, oh. When she fell, I don't know how, but she stumbled o'er the plow, and the cow was quite astonished at her screaming, oh. Little maid cried out in vain, while the milk ran o'er the plain, little pig ran grunting after it so gaily, oh. While the little dog behind for a share was much inclined, so he pulled back squeaking piggy by the taily -o. Such a clatter now began as alarmed the little man who came capering from out his little stable. -o. Pony trod on doggy's toes, doggy snapped at piggy's nose, piggy made as great a noise as he was able. -o. Then to make the story short, little pony with a snort lifted up his little heel so very clever. -o. And the man he tumbled down, and he nearly cracked his crown, and this only made the matter worse than ever. Oh. End of section four. Section five of the Baby's Bouquet. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Bouquet by Walter Crane. Section 5. The Old Woman of Norwich. There was an old woman, and what do you think? She lived upon nothing but fiddles and drink. Fiddles and drink were the chief of her diet, yet this plucky old woman could never be quiet. End of section 5.
Section 12 of the Baby's Bouquet. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Bouquet by Walter Crane. Section 12. Lucy Lockett. Lucy Lockett lost her pocket. Kitty Fisher found it. But ne'er a penny was there in it except the binding round it. End of section 12. Section 18 of the Baby's Bouquet. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Miss Carol, Carol Stripling. The Baby's Bouquet by Walter Crane. Section 18. The North Wind and the Robin. The north wind doth blow, and we shall have snow. And what will poor Robin do then, poor thing? He'll sit in a barn to keep himself warm, and hide his head under his wing, poor thing. End of section 18.